Good evening, everyone. Another three boxes of autographed baseballs by uh, Fanatics. Fanatics Authentic Under Wraps Next Level. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. We sold 20 spots. One spot gets you four players. So let's quadruple this list. There's one, so there's two, three, and four. There you go. And there's 80 players on this list right here, including one spot for all game used baseballs and one spot for all legendary level baseballs. Let's roll the dice and randomize each list five times. Four and a one. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. So we got Brian all the way down to Junia. Thanks everybody for getting into this one. I posted the second half of the case already on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so if you missed out on this one, don't miss out on the next. Four and a one, five times for the players. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. So I'll show you the list without um, alphabetizing, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can kind of keep track of everything. All right, so there we go. Nice, Joe P, you got the uh, all game used baseball category. And then EA, you got the legendary level baseball category. All right, now let's alphabetize by your first name so it makes it easier for you to keep track. So Brian, there are your players. EA Sports, it's in the game. There are your players. Joe Ivers, there are your players right there. Joe P, got a nice chunk of players right there. Excellent. Junior, Patrick, Peter, Scott, and TJP. There you go. Now, uh, feel free to trade. I don't think anyone's going to trade, but feel free to discuss trades if you'd like. While that's happening, I'm going to pop open this fresh case and we're going to select which three boxes we're going to do. Now, I don't think they made very many cases of these. They, maybe 200 perhaps? Although I got, this one actually has a post-it note too. We didn't put this on here. This, this was shipped to us like that. All right, uh, top row is one, two, three, bottom row is four, five, six. And it's six, so we'll do the bottom row. So we'll mark this with X. This is the break we're gonna do right now. And this will be, next one will be break six. We'll mark that right here. So you got X marks the spot, and that's for the next break. This is break five. doesn't look like there's going to be any trade, so we're just going to go ahead and go. Save this for the next break. I'm sure we'll do that case. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll do that case in a little bit. All right, let's close up that trade window officially. TWC trade window closed. Let me alphabetize by player name now so I can keep track of everybody. And we'll also go. Uh, we'll also do the MLB authentication too, so you can see exactly where the uh, where that baseball came from, where the autograph came from. Some we've looked up some. Some are from uh, from various events, some games, um, Hall of Fame weekend for some of the Hall of Fame autographs. So a lot of cool things. Good luck, everybody. Love the uh, wooden box that you get as well. All right. Um, there's the card. This is a debut level autograph. Let's see, some of them are pretty obvious. You guys can guess if it's not obvious. Any guesses? I don't think I would know if I didn't look at the card. Uh, while you guys are thinking about it, make your guesses. EK857013.
what did I say? Eight five. I can't even remember numbers. Zero one three. Rory's got it. Debut level Prince Fielder. Remember, this also has like a little uh, promo right here. If you punch in that code, there'll be a big drawing and you can win a trip to the uh, All-Star Game in Washington, D.C. next year. So it is Prince Fielder. Prince Fielder, that was signed uh, back on September 19th, 2013. It's a little while ago at, a, at some sort of Prince Fielder signing. Who has Prince? That Prince Fielder goes to Joe P. Nice one, Joe. You get the nice wooden box as well. Nice. Joe P. has a pretty good baseball, autograph baseball collection himself. He is in Arizona, so he does all the spring training stuff. All right. Next box. Debut level autograph. Any guesses there? I don't think I would be able to tell. Is this the right way? No, this must be the right way. All right, this is JB844100. JB844100. I love all those authentication stickers there. This is a debut level autograph signed on May 19th, 2016. Wow, this goes to Joe P. Joe P, would you pay $210 million over seven years for this guy? What do you think? You being a Diamondbacks fan. Seven years, $210 million? That's JD Martinez, ladies and gentlemen. JD Martinez. Going to Joe P, who's asking for about $210 million over seven years. And the next one, Joe P, two for two. Wow, this is uh, this is legendary level. So automatically, Eric, you got legendary level right here. So this is yours, Eric. It's Dwight Gooden and Daryl Strawberry. Nice. And that is JB zero one three six one six. And uh, that was from Hall of Fame Weekend. Doc Gooden signed it on Hall of Fame Weekend, and Daryl Strawberry signed it about a month later, back in 2016. So there you have it, folks. That was another three box. Fanatics Authentic Autograph Baseball Break. And a nice wooden case and all that, too. We've got the, uh, the next three boxes are in the store already. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Let's do it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.